And this is the Mercedes-Benz Rangers postgame show on a night where the Rangers world spun back onto its axis and where the goaltender turned the page and probably turned the corner as well. 5-2 the final Rangers over the LA Kings. Welcome inside our Delta MSG studios. John Giannone alongside Steve Valiquette. And as Joe Micheletti so aptly said, that's more like it compared to what we've seen in the last week or so. Because we got used to seeing it for seven games and then it wasn't there for four. But I think the players stepped up and... Internally, you have these conversations of, we know what our standard is. We have a responsibility to play our game. Yesterday was bitter. Let's make today sweet. And you get to experience those things during a hockey season. This was a blood and guts effort. And I think the Rangers now can be proud of themselves going into this next work week and look at that experience that just happened and now it's in the rearview mirror. And to be honest, none should be prouder than the four Ranger defensemen named Fox, Truba, Harper, and Mikola. Look at these ice times tonight. Truba, 29 plus. Ben Harper, who averages 13 minutes a game, 28 plus. Adam Fox, as usual, near 26. And Nico Mikola, who averages 16 and a half, played 25 and a half. And that was because of roster considerations where they did not play Braden Schneider all night. And then with three minutes left in the first period, Keandre Miller was ejected from the game for spitting. So that left the Rangers with four usable defensemen. We talk all the time when one defenseman gets hurt, how difficult it is, what a challenge it is to play with five. These guys played 43 minutes just as a foursome and held the Kings to two goals. It's so unbelievable, but I'm telling you right now, everybody around the league tomorrow will be talking about this game and how this went down and how the Rangers found a way. Because this is not normal, what we saw this afternoon into tonight. That is something that I'm telling you right now, everybody's going to be talking about it because by reputation, the Rangers are known as a tough team. That sends a message to everybody. That's what gets me most excited about this outcome. So when you watched what that foursome of defensemen did, why and how were they able to keep a team that's been very good offensively, 29 goals in the last seven games, basically yeah. off the scoreboard? If you rewatch this game, it was efficient. You know, the Ranger defenseman, to me, understood tonight time and space, which means to me as a goalie, when I'm yelling to get back because a man's on, the forecheck's coming, they take the straight line, but it's an efficient one. It's, it's straight to the point where the puck is actually going to end up on their stick off the boards. That's always the most difficult part for the goalie or the defenseman, is getting it clean off that yellow coping. They did that, but because everybody was back, they were able to get out of their zone. They were able to get out of the neutral zone without really, you look at Trocek's goal. He cut through when there was time to be able to get over the blue line, but by design, the Rangers didn't do that and lose the puck too much tonight. But again, you get the feeling that there's a certain level of pride in what these guys did. And let's not forget that he wears the C, mm -hmm. and that's a big moment for him. He had an opportunity to carry his group, his platoon. He was able to carry them, to inspire them. They did it smartly, swiftly. They played straight lines, but most importantly, He's giddy and happy and proud at the same time coming out of that hockey game. And that's what you want. Don't forget, LA Kings, heavy team, game planning, knowing all night long they're up against four. They tried to tire them out, and they didn't. The Rangers won. They won that game because they won those little battles around their corners as far as the defensemen. That's why I'm impressed. LA's not easy to play against. They've got a really good forecheck. Right. They score a lot of goals off the forecheck, and the Ranger D were able to collectively beat them as they game plan for them, knowing they were shorthanded. What Mika Zibanejad did between 2.11 left in the second period and 5.26 into the third period really typified the will and skill element yeah. that went into this Ranger win. And not to get lost on this point here is that one of your best players, Mika is the best player, he's always going to show up in these big moments. We talk about it all season long, and that's why he's contributing. I don't always love the best players to be on the penalty kill. And when he gets hit there, John, in the instep, I broke my foot there. And I'm thinking eight weeks, but the fans are here to inspire, and they're chanting him up to his feet. The great Jim Ramsey is helping him up. And I'm telling you, that to me, when I saw that, I'm just saying in my head, oh, great, eight weeks. When he came out, the guards told us that he was coming out, and I couldn't believe them when we were making our walk. And everybody at the garden noticed and cheered him on. And then he's able to get his one-timer from almost, that's the Mario Lemieux angle, John. Mario used to score that one-timer that low at the bottom of the circle, and now everybody's going nuts for Mika again. It's chance at the garden. It was so nice to hear that. Everybody's on this game. Everybody's 
into it, and you see the big oh. hug there from Jim Ramsey to wrap it up. Like, that was a really unique moment. I honestly can't believe he came back. I was eight weeks with that injury, and it didn't look good. But how tough is that guy? I mean, hockey players, isn't that why we all tune into hockey? Look how tough and committed these guys are. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he proved again tonight why he probably is not only the most valuable, but the best player on the team, top to bottom. And tonight, that goal we saw, 31st overall, 18th on the power play, and he is now second past Connor McDavid. Only Leon Dreisaitl in the entire NHL has more power play goals than Mika Zibanejad.